So this will be probably the most um, useless unboxing you will ever see. But we are going to explore the box that we have had today from Rosemary and Co. And obviously, this is my order that I did. So actually, there is nothing interesting in here whatsoever. Ooh, up show. So, no doubt you're interested, you're intrigued to see uh, what is in this box. Now, I made this order because I needed some boxes. That's not right. I made this order because I needed some brushes. I have brushes, yes I do, um, but they're all getting old. You know, they're dying. They're dying on their ass, frankly, and I'm sick of it. And actually, I didn't know I needed brushes until, um, until now and Albert came around and they were all like, let me look at your brushes. Uh, and I was like, yeah, well, the, they're all there. Like, I have a lot of brushes, but they're all not to their standards. Interestingly, it's probably because a lot of them are like size threes, fours, and fives, um, which I think are fine. Looking at them now, actually, I should have checked what I had before I ordered more. But um, that isn't important. What's important, unboxing. What do you get in this box? Now, what's particularly useless about this uh, unboxing that I'm doing today is it's an order that I made. So it's not even like you could be interested in the, uh, you know, the unboxing from a, oh, I was interested in what was in that box because it's literally an order that I did. So uh, probably a more apt title to this video, which I won't do, no, 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 is, oh, let, me, uh, let me remove the... Uh, The shipping label. Full credit though to them for using um, what are they called? A Dynamo printer. It's very nice, very professional. And that is what you get when you pay five pound postage. Um, so the reason why this is pointless is obviously because nobody else can order this. Um, but what you can do, ooh, it's got one of those middle bits. What you can do is order paintbrushes from Mosme, Rosemary and Co. So here we are. How many people would bother watching me unboxing stuff? So anyway, Rosemary and Co. now have this beautiful um, overlay or, or thing on their boxes, which is lovely. And I'm assuming this is Rosemary. Uh, and then probably the Co. are these hands. I, I can imagine. Co. Corporated, I guess co like people maybe other people and co jamie and co oh company jamie and company so rosemary is probably this lady here it's weird because i always expected rosemary to be older you know i don't know how old rosemary is in this photo or in real life uh, unless that is the real life of rosemary but i don't know um well i just always assume it's an old brand you know like windsor and newter you windsor's an old name in, admittedly so it's easier work. and rosemary's a fairly old name as well but do you know what i mean you you just kind of expect um just old like a an old old person probably dead probably probably a portrait painted by somebody but no this is the lady um now on the box there is no indication if that is indeed Rosemary, um, from Rosemary & Co. But note that they did use a woman. So from that perspective, I would kind of be on the side that, uh, you know, it is Rosemary, but no Co. She's, it could be Rosemary & Lona, but I suppose that's not very well known. So that is Rosemary. I mean, you can see it up there, right? But for all you viewers there, which is weird because I edited it. Um, but yeah, on the back, Perfectly um, squared labels there for um, the Dynamo label, which is nice. So if there was any confusion for the packer uh, of where to put the label, they don't have any of that at all. It's very specific. Although I suppose it doesn't say attach print, you know, postage label here. It just has the squares here. Um, so from that perspective, some ambiguity. But if you've been working there long enough, you'll probably know straight away that this is where the labels go. Also, it's kind of implied to do that because you've got Rosemary and not Co on the front. So from that perspective, people are gonna know the label goes here. Um, you've also got some very nice adhesive here, um, which gives you all the details of Rosemary and Co. Um, it's the finest, 
quality handmade artist brushes, but that's obviously opinion. I don't think you can ever sort of say, you know, that you have the finest of something. In your opinion, yes. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, Windsor and Newton also feel like they're probably the finest quality. Although the finest, it kind of implies objectivity uh, because it's the finest. So it's almost like a statement. Whereas I suppose you could have two, um, two brushes from different manufacturers and they could both be the finest. But then by its very definition, that's, that is incorrect. I'm not saying it's a controversial um, thing to put there. I'm just saying, to me, that's subjective. Um, anyway, discover the magic of Rosemary Co. Now that is on point. Otherwise, you've got follow on the things. Doesn't say the, the things maybe it does there, but you know that they're on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, which is great. And one of, oh, photograph opening this box and shit. Oh my God. Now, I thought I heard some squeaking. I'd like to say that I did not read this before I started doing this. But now I feel like I've been led down a path of unboxing. Uh, and it wasn't my choice at all, all this time. Well, anyway, I, I, I'm pretty sure I did it before I read the box. Um, post through the letterbox, so that's instructions. Uh, you probably can't even see. Uh, for the postman and handmade in Yorkshire and England, which is always nice. Handmade stuff in England uh, is lovely. To go back to this, um, I recently watched a film. Now it wasn't even long ago, and deter. I oh, know I didn't. It was Loki. Very apt. You know, was this ordained already, and I had no choice. Uh, you know, and because I bought it, was I guaranteed to do it, or could I have bought it and left it? I suppose I could, many people buy it and they don't share. I mean, who the hell shares unboxing stuff on social media anyway, really? Other than me and a couple of other people. But I don't do it for that. Right, so, thank you. In these days of hustle, am I reading the blog? Uh, hustle and bustle. Oh, two hands. In these days of hustle and bustle, I suppose that's a thing in itself, and busy lives we will lead, the small common courtesies are all too often overlooked. Yes, they are. Maybe. Therefore, we would like to thank you, take this opportunity to say thank you for your custom. As a family business, we are trying hard to ensure the quality product, a quality product, and serving you is our pleasure. Little bit sexual. Um, we trust you enjoy our brushes, Rosemary, and interestingly, not co, Sinu, Sini. I don't know if that's a dot there, but if it is, that's S Y N I I. There's only one dot, so UI. Anyway, it's handwritten, um, so I don't really understand what that means. But it's not co anymore. It's so there's two people running it. So I suppose it is company because that that one person is company for Rosemary. Anyway, this is meant to be really quick. I can help. I've already got one of these stickers here. They've actually updated the colours. It used to be orange on the outside, now it's just white. Um, and some cardboard, real cardboard. Look, it's quite cool. Thank you for your order, happy painting. Uh, this box can be fully recycled to help protect the environment. Thank you for your help. Assuming I'm recycling, but I probably will. But I definitely will, I've got nothing else to do. Um, okay, now a pamphlet from Rosemary and Co. Master Workshops. Oh, so they've got them some workshops on the 1st of August to the 5th of August, 2022, with Kathy Anderson and Daniel Keyes. And he is not um, the Keyes from the Black Keys. Uh, he is just Daniel Keyes. Um, and here you go, some Rosemary Curran Masterworks. Oh, that's more. So the 13th of June, 17th of June. Alex Veniza. Okay. So then maybe that is Rosemary, this lady. Why else include it? Um, I can feel myself waning and getting, and getting bored. I'm not going to read all this. It's just, it's just it's too much for me. But there are some accolades from some paintbrushes um, and a quick scan over them. And I know none of them. So I'm not an artist. I'm okay with that. Uh, receipt, which is good. Brilliant. And finally, oh, more comes in a card. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Bloody hell. It's weird, isn't it? So I think that's sealed when it ships normally. It might be because I've had it so long. Um, I bought quite a lot of brushes actually, blimey. 
at least one of them in there. So sealed, which is good, and it's good quality sealing, I think anyway. Uh, right. Oh. Sydney Potier. Weird that that name came to my head. Don't even know who it is. Sydney Potier. Potier. An actor maybe or a singer. Okay, screw it. Look, I wanted to do it properly. Not important. The brushes. So I bought uh, quite a few brushes because uh, fundamentally, understandably as well. And this isn't furthering my addiction that I was going to talk about the other day. Um, I think I can recycle all of this, which is quite nice. Oh, I'll remove the plastic later. So, the brushes. Uh, so I'm missing one, obviously. Inside there. Um, yeah, well, Albert and, uh, and now just made me realise I don't have enough fresh brushes, good brushes, crisp brushes. Um, so I think that's roughly the way. Now, Rosemary Co is basically my favourite brand of brush, I think, because of the cheapness, you know, comparatively, comparatively, comparatively. Uh, to, oh, there it is. There's the other tube compared to other um, painting brands. And they're quite soft, so they're very similar to um, Broken Toad in that regard. Um, and obviously I'm a, a, a big Broken Toad fan. But this is Rosemary Co today, it's not Broken Toad. So, I just thought, yeah, let me go for it. So I bought a 7, because they're a little bit smaller, basically. This is a 6 from... Um, from Newton. Newton. A Series 7. Um, and this is a seven from them on the left. And you see they're probably roughly the same. No idea if you're gonna be able to see. Oh, you know what I mean? I know that's not in focus, but it's not important. So they're very similar. So seven is like a six, um, potentially a little bit sharper, smaller, but that's what I wanted. I wanted a, a big, nice, heavy body brush and not too expensive. I can't remember the price, look it up. And then I got four and I got a three, oh, a two, what was that? That's a five. So I got I got a seven, a five, a four, uh, and then I got a three. I got two threes because again they're small. Um, and there's a zero. Two, <laughs> two threes, two twos, two ones, and a zero. And the brushes I got I felt like that gave me a huge range of of head size. <laughs> um, so there you go, that is the unboxing. Some brushes, I think these will last me maybe a year. And now I've got to go through my old brushes uh, and throw them away. So, thank you for the world's least useful unboxing video. That implies the other ones were good or useful. <laughs>